Welcome to another Superimpose V tutorial session. In this session, we will learn about keyframe animation. Keyframe animation is a technique to make things move or change over time in a video. In this project, I have a car loaded from a PNG image. And on the base layer, I have a background image. My goal here is to animate the car using keyframes. The car should be at this position at the end of the segment. So we move to the end of the segment and then add a keyframe by tapping on the diamond button on the right. And then we go to the beginning of the segment. Now we move the car and place it at a position where it should be in the beginning. When one keyframe is already added, any change in that segment will automatically add a keyframe at that time in the video timeline. In this case, we can see that a green diamond is added at the beginning of the segment when we move the car. These little diamond images on a segment indicate keyframes at those times. Now when we play the video, we can see that the car is moving from the left to the right. We only added two positions for the car, rest of the positions are automatically interpolated by the app when the video runs. But the movement of the car somehow does not look natural. A real car does not move at a constant speed and then just stops. It decelerates before coming to a halt. We can simulate this effect using easing curves. Move the segment so that the current time is between the two keyframes. And then tap on the little curve button next to the keyframe button. This will show all the easing curve options that we have. Easing curves determine the speed of interpolations at a time over the time period between two keyframes. For example, ease out curves like this one reduces the speed towards the end. This is exactly what we want here. Similarly, ease in curves give less speed in the beginning and more towards the end. For now, let's go with this ease out curve and see how it animates the car. This is perfect. The car now slows down before coming to a halt. We can also move around the keyframes to change the timings. Let us make the car move faster and make room for more keyframes. And to do that, we will drag and drop this keyframe at an earlier time. Let us add one more keyframe when the car is at this position. And towards the end of this segment, we will make the car move away by adding one more keyframe. Now with these four keyframes, the car moves in, stops and then moves away from the frame. Now let us add another element into the project to explore a different easing curve. This ball was masked in Superimpose X and was saved into the mask library. Let us make this ball fall into the ground from above. We will do that using keyframes just like we did before. This time, we will use this bounce easing curve to make the ball bounce. I think the ball is falling a little too fast. Let us fix it by moving the keyframe to increase the animation time. This looks perfect. Thank you for watching the video.